My sister destroyed my marriage by sleeping with my husband, and now she's back, demanding I forgive her. She even cried when I said no. Seven years ago, my sister had an affair with my ex-husband. We were still married at the time, I believed happily, and she was his mistress. I caught them together and banished both of them from my life. I divorced him. I told her to get away from me, and the two of them stayed together for a couple of years and had a child. My sister tried to reconcile with me five different times. I rejected her and told her I would never forgive her for what she did, and I did call her some names and wish for some bad things to happen to her. I, I wished for him to cheat on her and to destroy her life like they did mine, and I told her she'd deserve it all and not to cry to me if she caught anything off of him. I actually did a full STD-STI panel after finding out he'd been cheating on me with her. I was negative, but you can never be too careful, and he never denied there being more. I have been 100% no contact with my sister since, and I never met her child. Not even when X cheated while she was pregnant and she ended up homeless. I told our family members I would not accept being around her. A couple of weeks ago, this guy reached out to me. He's engaged to my sister and was mad I wasn't there to meet him at the dinner my parents hosted to meet him for the first time. He said my sister was so upset, etc., that she had wanted me to forgive her, etc., that he felt I was shitty to be mad at her dating an ex of mine. I corrected him and said she was his mistress that I was married to him, still actively married when they had an affair, and I told him I caught them in my home and my bed. He didn't reply. Several days afterward, my sister showed up and was pissed off at me for telling him what I did because he left her. She told me I should be willing to put the past behind us and reconcile and to stop treating her like she's a criminal or evil. She said I act like she repulses me. I told her because she does, and I told her my feelings had not changed at all in seven years. She cried and told me one of us could die and we'd never reconcile if I'm not willing to try, and I said I would not care. I told her she could die tomorrow and I would not regret my decision not to reconcile. I told her I no longer cared what happened to her or if she was okay or not. She left in tears. My parents were so angry she confronted me. They had already been disgusted with her being the other woman, but to confront me for correcting her lie, they said it showed she had not grown at all. While my aunt told me I had no need to be so cruel after time had passed, she told me I'm treating my sister worse than she treated me, and that I should be ashamed of myself for saying I wouldn't care if she died, because it's an evil thing to say to anyone, let alone family. Aita? Update 1. The fallout from my sister's visit and subsequent tears wasn't exactly what I expected. My parents kept their opinions mostly to themselves after their initial show of solidarity with me but I knew they were trying to keep the peace in their own way. My aunt, on the other hand, was relentless, calling me every couple of days to tell me I was being heartless and needed to be the bigger person. She kept saying, family is family, like it was some kind of magical phrase that erases betrayal. I started ignoring her calls after a while because I just couldn't keep rehashing the same argument. But my sister? She didn't let it go. About a week after our argument, she sent me this long text. It started out like an apology. She said she regretted what she did to me, and that she'd been selfish and immature. But it quickly turned into her trying to guilt trip me, saying things like, You don't know how hard my life has been since then, and I've paid for what I did every single day. She even threw in how her child, yes, the one she had with my ex, asks about Auntie and wants to meet me. Honestly, I felt sick reading it. Maybe that makes me heartless, but I couldn't help but feel like it was manipulative. Like she was trying to twist the knife just enough to make me feel bad, but not enough to actually take responsibility for what she did. She said I was being cruel for holding on to the past and not giving her a chance to make things right. But how do you make something like this right? You can't. I ignored the message at first, thinking she'd eventually take the hint. She didn't. She texted again the next day, saying she hoped I'd think about what she said because life is too short and we're sisters no matter what. Then she started calling me. I didn't answer, but the voicemails kept coming. In one of them, she actually said, I know you're mad, but I need you. Please don't shut me out forever. It was like she was trying to flip the narrative. Suddenly, I was the bad guy for not wanting to be around the person who blew up my marriage and then tried to lie about it years later. I didn't reply to her texts or calls, but the whole situation was starting to wear on me. 
Then, a few days later, I got a message from a number I didn't recognize. It was her fiancé, the same guy who dumped her after I told him the truth. He apologized for getting involved in family drama, but said he needed to know if there was anything else about my sister that he should be aware of. He mentioned that after their breakup, she'd been telling him I was making things up because I was jealous of her and bitter about my divorce. I couldn't believe it. Jealous? Of her? For what? I told him exactly what happened, including how I caught her and my ex together in my bed, how she tried to play the victim even back then, and how she'd been trying to rewrite history ever since. I even sent him screenshots of some of the texts she sent me over the years, where she alternated between apologizing and blaming me for not forgiving her. He thanked me and said he was sorry I had to deal with all of this. That was the last I heard from him. My sister must have found out we talked because she showed up at my house again the next day. She was furious, accusing me of ruining her life and saying I'd taken everything from her. I couldn't believe the audacity. I told her I didn't take anything from her. She destroyed her own life by making one bad choice after another. I reminded her that I hadn't spoken to her in years until she and her fiancé dragged me into their mess. She started crying again, saying I was heartless and cold and that she just wanted to fix things. I told her the truth. I don't want to fix anything. I don't want her in my life. I don't care about her apologies or her excuses. I don't even care if she's sorry because it doesn't change what she did or how I feel about it. And I guess she realized I wasn't going to budge because she left. But not before saying something that honestly chilled me. You're going to regret this someday. When I'm gone, you're going to wish you'd forgiven me. It wasn't a threat. It was more like a sad, desperate attempt to guilt me into giving her what she wanted. But it didn't work. My parents found out about the confrontation and were furious with her again. They told her to leave me alone and said they wouldn't host any more family dinners if she couldn't respect my boundaries. My mom even said she didn't want to hear another word about me being unforgiving because she agreed with me. Some things can't be forgiven. But my aunt? She's doubled down. She keeps saying I'm being vindictive and holding on to anger, like it's a grudge I could just let go of if I tried hard enough. She's even started telling other family members that I'm the one tearing the family apart by refusing to reconcile. It's exhausting. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if I should have just stayed quiet when her fiancé reached out. Maybe if I hadn't told him the truth, he wouldn't have left her and she wouldn't be trying so hard to drag me back into her life. But at the same time, I feel like I did the right thing. He deserved to know the kind of person she is. And I'm tired of people acting like I owe her anything after what she did to me. Do I feel bad about how things turned out for her? No. Do I feel guilty for refusing to reconcile? Also, no. I just wish everyone else would stop trying to make me feel like I'm the problem when I've been nothing but consistent about my boundaries from the start. So that's where things stand. My sister is furious. Her engagement is over and my aunt is on a crusade to convince the rest of the family that I'm the villain in this story. Honestly, I'm just tired. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to hear about her or her kid or her drama. I just want to live my life in peace without her in it. Is that really too much to ask? Update 2. I thought things couldn't escalate any further after the last confrontation, but I underestimated my sister. It's been a whirlwind of family drama, guilt trips, and of course, more unsolicited opinions about how I'm handling this. First off, my aunt decided to take matters into her own hands. She called a family meeting. Yes, really. Under the guise of wanting to resolve tensions. She said it was just about everyone coming together to talk. But I knew what she was doing. She wanted to corner me into forgiving my sister. My parents were hesitant, but they agreed to go, and they asked me to come too, saying it might be good to set the record straight. Against my better judgment, I decided to go. Big mistake. The meeting was at my aunt's house, and it was clear from the moment I walked in that she had already made up her mind about who was in the wrong. She started by saying things like, we all make mistakes, and family is more important than holding grudges. My sister, of course, was there, looking like she'd been practicing her sad and remorseful face in the mirror all day. She didn't say much at first, but the crocodile tears started almost immediately. When it was my turn to talk, I told them exactly how I felt. I reminded them that I had already set clear boundaries and that my sister had crossed them repeatedly. I said forgiveness wasn't something I owed her, 
especially since she hasn't shown any real accountability. I also mentioned how she'd lied to her fiancé about what happened and only came clean when I called her out. That's when my aunt lost it. She accused me of being vindictive and stuck in the past, saying I was tearing the family apart by refusing to let this go. My sister jumped in at that point, sobbing about how sorry she is and how she just wants her big sister back. I stayed calm, mostly, but I told them this wasn't just some petty fight we could patch up with a hug and an apology. I reminded them that my sister didn't just betray me. She destroyed my marriage, humiliated me, and lied about it for years. I said I didn't trust her, and that trust isn't something you can rebuild just because it's convenient for someone else. My aunt didn't like that answer. She said I was being spiteful and cruel, and that I was setting a bad example for the rest of the family by refusing to forgive. That's when my mom stepped in. She shut my aunt down completely, saying, You weren't the one who had your life ripped apart. You don't get to decide how she should feel. My dad backed her up, saying he'd supported me from the start and that they weren't going to push me into doing something I wasn't comfortable with. It felt good to have their support, but the meeting went downhill fast after that. My aunt kept pushing, saying things like, What if something happens to her? Will you really be able to live with yourself? My sister started crying harder, saying she's scared I'll hate her forever, and that she just wants a chance to make things right. I finally snapped. I told them I didn't hate her, I just didn't care about her anymore. I said she was the one who made choices that broke this family, and I wasn't going to pretend everything was fine just to make her feel better about herself. I also told my aunt that her constant meddling was only making things worse, and that she needed to stop trying to guilt me into forgiving someone who didn't deserve it. I left after that. My parents followed me out, and they apologized for even suggesting I come. My mom said she was proud of me for standing my ground, and my dad said he was done with my aunt's drama. But my sister? She wasn't done. A few days later, I found out she'd gone to my parents again, begging them to help her fix things with me. When they refused, she pulled the ultimate guilt card. She brought her child into it. She told them she didn't want her kid to grow up without knowing their aunt and that she was scared I'd poison them against her if we didn't reconcile. My mom shut that down fast, telling her she was the one keeping this mess alive by refusing to accept my boundaries. Then my sister tried a new tactic. She started posting these cryptic messages on social media about family betrayal and losing the people you love. She didn't mention me directly, but it was obvious who she was talking about. A few of our extended family members reached out, asking what was going on, and I had to explain the whole situation again. The worst part? She's now trying to use her child as a pawn. She sent me a message saying, Even if you hate me, my child deserves to know their family. Please don't punish them for my mistakes. I didn't respond. I don't even know how to respond to that. It feels manipulative and wrong, like she's trying to guilt me into a relationship by using her kid as leverage. At this point, I'm exhausted. I just want to be left alone, but my sister seems determined to drag me back into her life whether I want to be there or not. My parents are supportive, but the rest of the family is split. Some of them think I'm being unreasonable, while others understand why I've chosen to stay no contact. I'm starting to wonder if this will ever really end. How many times do I have to say, I don't want a relationship with her before she gets it? How many more guilt trips and confrontations do I have to endure before she finally leaves me alone? I've thought about going no contact with the rest of the family who keeps pushing me, but that feels drastic. At the same time, I'm running out of patience. If this keeps up, I might not have a choice. I didn't ask for any of this. All I want is to move on with my life without her in it. But apparently, that's too much to ask.